morning. So I think this is a really exciting um, sort of project. And these are the two most um, obvious examples. I take regular old canvases. Canvases are not created equal. I started out with a canvas from Michaels. Some of them are very deep. I didn't like those. Some have this sort of bevel wood inside. I didn't like those. The ones I got at Walmart, shredded. You'll understand what that means later. Not worth it. Don't do it. This was the best one. And initially I think, oh, I only need one. I'm only going to try one. Okay, well, now I want one or two. And now I want an eight pack or 10 pack or whatever it is. So just go buy the 10 pack because you're going to do one and think, oh, but I want to try something else. Just get the pack for $12.99. Okay. And the idea is you can cut it out. So you can pretty much see this one, right? The black tree is the canvas that's left on here. Oops, I cover my mouth. That's left on here. And where you see the glass, all this green, all this orange, that was cut out and thrown away from this canvas. So this was my tree. Let's see, yeah, I have that right. That's where the canvas is left. <laughs> all of this space has been cut out and thrown away. That makes sense, right? Okay, so this tree, initially what I did was drew it backwards on the back of the frame. Once I cut it out, I decided I really liked the tree. So I drew it on this, I copied it, and then cut it out on this so I had a stencil for the next one. So let's set that aside. This was the second one. So same tree, but you can see a difference, right? The difference is this one, if you can't see it, <laughs> has little dots of dichro. And all I did was take standard dichro, put a little bit of black under it, and then full fused them. I glued them on with E6000. Although you have to keep them flat because they do want to slide. So I had to put something under here to support it. And then the back, all I did was drill a hole um, and put a piece of like, I don't know, that might be uh, I got to think backwards, 16 or 14 gauge wire I got from Home Depot. You could get fancier, you can get a dowel, you could glue it in. This one, all I did for this one was cut out a piece of glass from Bullseye. I think you probably recognize it. See that glass? And just stick it in there. I would want to maybe use Frit and make my own sort of background and fuse it. This I just cut and plugged in there just as an example. Because now I can unplug it and put it back in my glass and use it for a project. So all I did was duct tape it in. I wouldn't normally do that. I may put quarter round in here. Little quarter round from Home Depot. And, and nail it in or glue it in. It would hold my glass in. Also, keep in mind, I cut this um, canvas all the way to the edge of the wood in the back. And so if my glass doesn't fit perfectly, there's a little gap. So on the second tree that I cut out, I left a little edge around there. And the idea was to use this one with the flat piece of glass, but I forgot and put this on there and then I had to put the flat piece of glass behind this one. Does that make sense? So leave that little lip on your canvas. See that white lip? That's canvas. And it just gives you a little bit of wiggle room in your glass. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I paint these, and you can paint them or leave them white. If you leave them white, still paint them white. You don't wanna leave it as a bare canvas. So I just use standard acrylic paint. Because I can see through this so much, I painted the canvas right here, all of this black, because I don't want somebody to look through and see that, that opening in the canvas. See, that's what the back of the canvas looks like. It, you can see this wood, you can see this canvas being stapled onto it. So what I did was, once I cut it out and painted it, I believe I painted the back first, paint the edges and the back first. And then you can see on this one, I didn't paint this. It doesn't look finished, does it? So wouldn't you want to paint that? I did paint the inside just yesterday. I think it was still wet when I took the picture. But then I put those feet on it. That was from Michael's right there. 
I just duct taped them on just for today so I could show you what it would look like. It's a pretty nice touch. And that's why if I did this, I might put either a piece of metal that <laughs> matches those feet or I would do like a little dowel. When I painted this one, I did a little dry brush of gold, no copper. I used tempera paint. I'm not thrilled with it. I would have painted over that. Do you see that sort of copper look? But I left it because I wanted to show you the example. But let me show you a couple more examples. This is one way to frame your glass. You guys might recognize this piece. And this one, I just took a piece of copy paper and folded it and folded it and folded it and made this little design like a snowflake, right? I cut it out. I put it on the back of the canvas. I drew it with a pencil where I wanted it and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Highly recommend a very sharp X-Acto knife. It's just to show you an example, right? You could take a piece of glass that you made, anything, and frame it. So then I tried this other, this is just an example. <laughs> I didn't want to make a piece that I wasn't gonna keep, so I'm just showing you an example. Imagine you made a beautiful round piece of glass in whatever, you know, it, some beautiful sun or some, you know, this one's in blue, but it could, well, it'll probably fire up more of a yellow, right? Yeah. You could take one round piece of glass that you want to focus and do some sort of design and put the glass behind it, right? So the glass can go behind, it can take up the whole thing, it can take up part of it, it can take up a little section of it. This is supposed to be a tree. Uh, exacto knife wasn't sharp so my tree actually broke right there can you see that break and there's really no way to fix it see that little break right there so I would they're so cheap I would have thrown this away and started over but it was supposed to look like a giant tree coming across and it just looked like a big load of poo so I just didn't like it at all but yeah, <laughs> if it looked nice if you're a painter um, go for it because you don't have to paint the whole thing one color. but I did paint this white you don't want to leave this bare canvas trust me on that if you want it white paint it white but you could put clouds in here and if you're a painter gosh go for it um, my style is probably more this okay so I decided to do one more and this is what I drew and remember you can draw it on the front or the back the reason I drew it on the front is I knew the design that I wanted and I knew I was going to paint it black. Whatever was left was going to be painted black. So what I drew was this sort of cat. And I'll show you, just take your X-Acto knife and very gently with a sharp X-Acto knife. Oh, I'm rushing so I'm not doing great. I'm not paying attention. Okay, I'm getting sloppy because I'm rushing. Oh, you know what I did there? I think I went below the wood. There's one of the problems with um, drawing it on the front, right? If I'm going to do this, then I want a piece of glass to put in. Where am I going to put the glass? Oh, that's going to hang flat. Here's one of my flaws, I'll tell you right now. I shouldn't have attached the tail to the body, they should have been separate, so that this piece had a place to hang on to, because right now it's too loose, right? So the way that this is not connected and this is not connected, the tail should not have been connected to the body. That's a bummer. So I would have to actually, I would start all over on this one. I wouldn't even use this one. But let's pretend I started all over and I got it right. Had my tail cut out, had my little face cut out, have my little ears cut out. Where would you put glass? Wow. You guys remember these from last time? Well, I took one of them and chopped it up because I decided I wanted this to put in the body. And with a little dot I had left, I made an eye. And oh my gosh, can you see how awesome that would be if, if I hadn't cut the tail with the body? Ugh. It was so pretty on paper, but it can still be done. So if you have a really pretty piece of glass that you want to showcase, embellish, uh, 
feature, then come up with a design, showcase it, feature it. Once you get it cut out, paint it. If you're going to leave anything white, paint it white. Take this idea and run with it. Oh my gosh, the possibilities. Absolutely endless. Lightning bolt. <laughs> That's how I feel. Anyway, have fun with it. Super easy, super fun. Thanks for joining me. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Oh, a light went out. Hey, it's back on.